it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out Hey, Paul here from YouTube channel Alder is optional today. We're going 65 kilometers northeast of Yipoon Harbour to go fishing with Paul, a prof ex-professional fisherman, and Luke who comes out a lot in uh, Mackay with me. Come with us and see what we get. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crashing in my car. Wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar. Just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir. Yeah. I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling Well, we just launched the boat down in the water there Just waiting our turn to get a park uh, Just while we're waiting, I just thought I'd quickly uh, tell you what we're doing today We're, we're going uh, fishing uh, We're going fair way out I've got a couple of mates with me and We're, we're going to have a, a good time together as men And go fishing and see what we can get together and I remind you that this channel that I do with you guys it is not, I am not, and I tell you right now, I am not a guru. All I want to be is a guy, is to take you fishing with me. Mental health is such a fantastic part of our, our psyche today as men. As men, everybody wants something from us. And all I want to do is provide an outlet for you to come with me where we can look after our health, mental health together and um, get on with life and enjoy it. So come with me, come with me as your guide as to how I do when we go fishing. Quick graduates, heart full of calluses, but we know calculus. Damn. First fish of the trip here. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a nice little stand snapper for Luke. That first fish. The cod. Oh, that's only a smaller fish. I don't want that one. Oh, he's a bit better. A bit more weight to that one. You get him? Yes. Good. You're on. Who's next? Oh, I got that one. Whatever it is. Yeah. I don't think it's real big. This one is decent. Are you on yet, Luke? No. Five? No. Do you want another sink? How heavy a sinker you got? On the ground, so yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The uh, maybe because it's a lighter sinker landing in a different spot. This is seems thing. to be a little bit after you. Yeah, He's a nanny. He'll make it tall, I think. Yeah. Oh, big one. He'll make it. Oh, yeah. You got one? Yeah, yeah. That's the idea. We drop down, we get three, we come up. We go back on it. I think he's going to be just under, I think. Yours is going to make it. Well, yours is comfortably size. I'm just going to measure this one. Yours would be under size. <laughs> I'm going to make six. it. 39. 39. I don't think he's going to go down, unfortunately. Give him a shot. Well, he's going to try. Gave him some rope to hang himself. There we go, now I'm getting bites. You get one? We should, we should look at where we're sitting on the sound here, on the GPS. I've noticed uh, I found Sweetlip on the run out. Tide seemed to like fighting. He's a, he's a sweetie for a mowal. He's a mowal. Oh, mowal. Oh, really? There you are. Oh, mowal on the same as a mother in law. Mowal, yep. yeah. Hold it. This is the it's down south, I think. Yeah, Not the best on. fish, but he's all right in a curry. The shark won't so much. Shark won't take him. Give him a... It's the wrong colour. 
Beautiful large mouth manic guy. That's a nice one, he's still close to 50. <laughs> Falls onto a nano guy. Oh, it's a good one too. He might be size. So, what we're doing for our fish that we're not blooding them, Paul is an ex professional fisherman. He's going to be in a cold slurry and then into the cold ice. Got heaps of ice. Yeah, portable measure. I'm not sure if he's going to be size. It's just under. No, it's only on my esky. Wow. There's no shortage of dramas out fishing today. Uh, first of all, the sounder broke, so we couldn't get the sound to work. The little bolts that I put on to hold it to the mounting on the back of the boat that slides up and down, well, they came off. And then I've got a Lawrence hook reveal. And uh, top of the was are in the bottom range, and it looks like it won't achieve above 35 to 40 metres. So that was useless. So we had no sounder. Second of all, um, our anchor broke, so we couldn't anchor. The rope broke. Um, and so we couldn't anchor so we had to drift all day and thirdly was um, we because of all this we were out there longer and uh, I radiated in to say that we'd run in a little bit late but um, they didn't quite get the message to what it meant so uh, next minute I'm getting text message to say that the police have been notified because we weren't back at the time that we said now that is 100% my responsibility 100% my fault um, the fantastic guys at the Yapoon uh, Council giving their time, sorry, the Yapoon Coast Guard are giving their time to look after us out on the water, and it's our responsibility to make sure that we don't put them out. And I did that, and they were looking and texting and ringing and trying to radio us and about to send out search parties, and that is my fault, and I apologise to the Yapoon Coast Guard for that. Oh, it was just another thing that went wrong on the day. Um, so we had these may have, we didn't end up having it because we got back on time, but the yellow boats out there may have been going to look for us. And that wouldn't have been much fun. So I apologise to them, I bought them some morning tea. But you know, if I can, a lesson from learnt is that I need to make sure that I'm really clear with the instructions that we give and to make sure that those instructions have been heard and understood. Cheers up to all the Coast Guard blokes out there, champions, absolute champions. And you know, when we do these things and it's wrong, we're sorry, we really are. Um, thank you for your help and thanks for looking after us. We punched out 52 Ks with Paul and Here we go. He's sharked up. Not ah, sharp. I got him. Yeah, you get the shark, good boy. Ah, I've got the fish. Paul's going to get the shark, I'm going to get the fish. I'm on the fish. He's another nanny guy. He's going to come. I'm having to work really fast to get up before the sharks. Yep. Did you guys have squid or mullet? I've got one of each. You hit the bottom, you get a bite. Mm. Oh, look. Oh, no. Nah. Make night, sure you're too. on the bottom. Uh, brought up a little fella. Ah, I've got a cod. I think I'd rather. I oh, know I'd catch a cod, but the shark could have the cod. He won't take a cod. They only like red ones. Like the one I'm bringing up. So, well, he's not a big one, though. He's only a little fella. Okay. What do you got there? Something white. Something Trevally, what? Trevally or a sweetie? Trevally. There's a bit of bait for us. Okay. Sorry. I don't even know what that is. Javali. Some sort of bunch of beefy spice. I don't think I've caught one like that before. It's got yellow in it. Is that not a, a juvenile? What is that for? Is that a, unless it's a tea leaf or something? It could be a juvenile tea leaf. Yep. Oh, yeah, the shark's just below him. Right. There he is under that. Yeah, it's all up the shark's here, obviously, everywhere. Another nanny. Too small, this one. Alright, right, we're going to have to leave the area. Pretty 
decent fish here. Flakes on this side. Hopefully it's a nice net. And Paul was on this side. Large mouth nanny for Paul, uh, for Luke. That one will go size, won't it? I think that'll be size. And he's going in the esky. Be right Beautiful nana guy for Luke. Oh, and Paul is uh, pumping. Yep. Wine and pump. Oh, shark got it. No, we got shark. Second shark in for today. How long, Paul? That was a good Luke. Many, that one. 46. 46, yeah. Oh, he's going in the esky. The ones we got the other week were all 48, 49, yeah. same. Yeah. You get a lot but. here between 40 and 50. Look at that. Come on. I'll throw this in the water here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, throw him back. Okay, this will be a uh, 50. You got a good one? Yeah, it's a bit bigger. Imagine if we ain't it there. So you reckon a 50 centimetre? Yeah, 50 nanny. There he is. Oh, that's oh, a he might go 52. He's close. That's the one. Nice large mouth nano guy. That's a nice fish. Up around near 50. Slowly getting bigger. Feels nanny guy. Oh, nearly. Paul, tell us what we're doing here. So, for some reason we've come out here without a working sounder and without a successful anchor. So we're having a drift day today. We, uh, we have some marks so we can attack the marks. But unfortunately when you drift, after a few drifts over the same mark, you tend to spray the fish everywhere, spread them out. You've got to go and find a new mark. So we're just about at that point now. but. We're going to have one last go on this one where we've pulled a few nice fish. That is! Yep! Paul, getting the hit now. out. Book it? Yep. we got three on. Oh. Good news is we're not taking any sharks at the moment. Like we did earlier in the day. Coming up easy now, did you drop him? He's got a oh, coral yeah. brim. There's some quality fish. Coral brim. I'm going to tell you that I got something. All right. Just leave the nanny again. Not a big one, but probably big enough to go in the ice box. So, coral brim. He cut him up the bait. Let's put a couple of them on the soil. He's probably 42, so he's in the bucket. Probably the same, eh? I strike that even though it was a circle. <laughs> Another good nanny. Yes, some of the other one, eh? Did you get one? Beautiful fish. Beautiful large mouth nanny. Size again. You any bites, Paul? Yes, bites. We're in the zone right now, Paul. You need to drop it all the way up. Right to the top. First one, eh? Legal one I got. I thought it was a golden trevally because of that. Yeah, could be. Well, sun's going down, the esky's filling, and Luke's onto a good fish. But if it was a legal one, <laughs> preferably a legal one. Nice big Maui. That's the other option if he's had a head bang. Oh. Is he still
still banging or is he giving up? Nah. He'd be a bit of nanny then. There he is. Oh, there he is. Nanny. This is a good fight at the beginning. Yeah, they give up. Smart. We're on them. We're about to finish them off. Luke's on a sweet lip. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good sweet lip. Yeah. Oh, pulled the hook. And Paul pulled, hook. pulled a hook. Another big sweet lip, I'd say. Oh, that's a nice fish. You're on, Paul. Okay. Late in the afternoon. Okay, start now. we have it. Late in the afternoon. It's fish o'clock. And the bigger sweet lip are coming on. It's probably around oh, probably late 40s. 47, 48. Beautiful fish, couple of kilos. And then look at the sun. Yeah. Oh, you, Australia. Australia. Do you want that trevally? Oh, it's that for a day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just on dusk, and Paul's got a good fish. Yep, two. you're getting one too. Yeah. We're all on. We're all on. Great fun out here. It's becoming my favourite place to fish. So I drove up from Ipswich last night to have a fish with a mate of mine. From Alder is optional. And we headed out to uh, some rocks out of Yapoon, about 70 k's north of Yapoon. Everything was against us. We had no sounder. We lost our anchor on the first drift. So we worked hard with some rough weather to start with. But Rejoice in all things, says the Lord. And we managed to uh, triumph over a few fish yesterday. We didn't quite bag out, but we got pretty close. Uh, we've got some lovely big red nanny guy here. Large mouth nanny guy. These are probably my favorite fish of all fish to eat after 30 years of fishing professionally as well. They're a lovely fish, it's a good eating size. They're not whoppers, but you know, when you get them up around 50 centimeters, they're quite a nice fish to catch. Um, Beautiful fish when they're coming up, particularly when you drop them on the grass like that. We also got stuck into a few nice big sweet lip, grassy sweet lip. These are great fun to catch at this size too, uh, around the 50 centimetre mark. Uh, great fillet off them, beautiful white flesh, great to eat. Um, a lot of people go for the coral trout and the red emperor, the, you know, the two king fish to take. This one's as good as any to put on the pan and have a, have a feed. We've got a little bit of mixed bycatch with it, a few moeys, which a lot of people will have a go at these and say they're a rubbish fish. They're not probably your best table fish, but do them up in a curry and they soften up really nicely and they eat really well. I have no problem with them. Just make sure you bleed them. They've got a strong bloodline in the top. And we had a bit of a surprising one here from one of the crew. Managed to find one of these little Venus tusk fish, which they don't catch a lot of in the waters where we fish for these, but he pulled up this is not nice little fella. He's about half grown. A bit of a shark attack shark on the way. Shark had out. a bit of a go him on the way. So that was that was a fun day's fishing. Um, I advise you to have an anchor and a sounder if you do it yourself. It's a lot easier. But we still end up with a good feed of fish for the day.